I like Terrorizer magazine. I really do. It's like one of the bit. only magazines I still read. It's one of the only ones left, really. Yeah. That and Rock Hard. Rock Hard's in German, so I don't understand it. Yeah, so. I can't read that. Yeah. 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 Okay, right. Thank you. Free plug there. Yeah, totally. We I didn't even. That, we don't even get paid for that. Yeah, thanks. No, don't worry, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll pass you a couple of notes afterwards. Don't worry. Last stop, 2013. We are nearly at the finish line. But first, we're here with Exodus. How are you doing, guys? Good, man. Really good. What's up, man? How are you? Not bad. And uh, it must be old time for you. You were only here a couple of years ago. How's it feel to be back? Oh, it's good, man. This is one of my favorite favorite festivals. Yeah. Man. It's a top top tier one, man, for sure. Yeah, last time we, uh, we got our set cut short because of uh, the band before us yeah. fucked up. And so we, uh, that was Hammerfall. Um, they... Uh, they pulled all the plugs out of the board, so our, our sound guy had, you know, ran 20 minutes over. So um, the owner was bummed out. So uh, the, the the owner, the Vicky, who puts on this uh, festival, and uh, she said, "Hey, come back and, and kill it." And uh, we did. So we had good time. So you enjoy this time a lot more. This then. time was way better. No stress. It was killer. We went out and just had a blast from beginning to end. You yep. know what I mean? So. Yeah, Gary. Him. Gary was here today. He's been out with Slayer. Yeah. So we crossed paths today. He joined us on stage. So that's always adds yeah. a little bit of energy with us. And uh, you know, so it was really good, man. Yeah. It was a good day. And is that a slightly, um, you know, obviously everyone understands what the situation is. Mm -hmm. But is that a kind of, is it a delicate one to handle? What with Gary being so integral to yeah, Exodus's entire history. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. So. I mean, I'm sure fans are disappointed that Gary's not there, and you know, but uh, you know, Craig has been filling in, and he's been awesome. And, and playing them, you know, playing really tight. We're really good, you know. So I think you know, that I think there's far more people that would be disappointed if we didn't come and play yeah. than the ten guys on the internet that, that sit mad. there and yeah. talk shit, yeah. you know, because they're yeah. obsessed with Gary's face. Yeah. You know. I mean, uh, you are know. there a lot of fans on the internet obsessed with Gary's face? Yeah, it seems so. It just seems know. so. There's like ten guys there's that like, like really that just, really can't. Oh, can't it's not play. Exodus. Fuck that. It's not. A, and it's like, come on, dude, really? Like, but they're know, the same guys that I are saying it that it's not Slayer, because, right. you know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. Jeff's dead. Like, what do you fucking think is going to happen? Yeah. I've had actually, I've had people go, he's not, he sucks because he doesn't have long hair. Like, you know, it's not about the music, it's about the look. And, and I guess, I'm I, I, re I retorted with, what are you, the fucking gay guy for <laughs> metal guy? Like, you know what I mean? Like... Passion I don't have long. I, I'm going bald. I don't want to be the long-haired bald guy. <laughs> I'm like, like off. you probably are. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm guessing he's not a fan of, say, Anthrax uh, or yeah. Down yeah, or Kerry yeah, King, yeah. the heaviest guy, one of the heaviest guys in the world. Well, you know, there's, a, there's a small band called Judas Priest. Oh, Rob Halford, yeah. you know, went bald, shaved his head. Yeah. You know, it's just a. Yeah, you know, not all of us are gifted with the beautiful hair of Jack. Kitchen they just, hair, they just know? can't, they can't deal with it. It's the future. I look at it like this, in 1980-whatever, when you were listening to this, that moment in life, in your, in that time in, in your life was really awesome because you were younger and you were younger, so it's not about old, it's, it's, you were younger, that time is, it's not about, you know, the, the album or the time or whatever, because when Paul was alive, everyone thought he sucked, like no one thought, oh, he's the greatest fucking singer of all time, <laughs> he dies, all of a sudden he's a legend. Yeah. Which, you know, by the time, uh, we were there, man, he, nobody, it wasn't, he, nobody was legendary Paul Bailoff, he was a, you know, but, nonetheless, he made an album that was fucking brilliant, the whole yeah. uh, era of time, because in the era of time, if they made the album today, eh, I don't know. It's interesting, though, that you say the, you know, the youth thing, because walking around here and going to gigs, in the, certainly in the UK, I can't speak for everywhere in the world, but it's very noticeable that there are a lot of young metal fans yeah. for whom Thrash is still the ultimate in a way yeah. that certainly going to a lot yeah. of death metal shows and you they don't, don't see care that about them. They don't care about members, they just want to hear yeah. them. They close their eyes and they want to hear music. At our shows, there's there's nobody holding a cell phone and, and, and filming us while we're playing because they're having fun and they're yeah. in the moment rather than what, doing so with their phone that they're never going to watch again anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I've seen, uh, we were, I was out with Rob Zombie and I watched him just fucking lose it. Put your fucking phones away, you fu You know what I mean? To lose it because it's like you're not in the moment. But at Thrash fans, they're in the moment, dude. Yeah. You know Glenn I mean? Benton does the same thing, coincidentally. Yeah. yeah. But um, um, I guess what I'm, I'm getting at is why do you think it is that, that Thrash has not lost its ability to appeal to new fans? Because so, it's not just the case of it's. No, fifty-year-old has been to remember seeing Metallica sporting Venom in 1983 yeah. or whenever it was. I think. I mean, 
it's a it's an energy level that was tapped you know back then and it's it's just a relevant it's a relevant music even today I mean people are still angry people are still pissed off and it's the best music to listen to if you're uh, if you're pissed off and have long hair and don't feel like you like the rest of the world lets you fit in you know I mean yeah. it's like all the problems then are still problems now and so I think even young kids you know they grow up hearing so much computerized music and so much you know prepackaged stuff that when they hear something very real you know like that that you can touch it it appeals to them just like it appealed to us back then you know sure and one question we've been asking everyone this weekend obviously it's just been announced that uh emperor is returning to canton hall next year well come to canton hall for the first time for a, a reunion show here uh we're all very excited but we're wondering what is the reunion that should never happen? What band should stay in the past? Mm, that's, a, that's a good question. I didn't know I was going to have to think for this. I don't know. I can't think of one. Steely Dan? I, don't, ah, I like no, Steely they're great. Dan. Uh, I don't know. I can't think of anybody who's... who's who, give me some options. Who's, who's, well, who's one that broken up? Anthrax is obvious one was Pantera. Oh no, no, yeah, that, that no, can't happen. That, Dimebag's not there. That, I can't. That, that, Pantera can't. Happen. Yeah, that, that can't happen. That, that, uh, that can't. Yeah. Dimebag was again, the whole like, thing. But then you know? again, like you know. I mean, there's kids that outshred Dimebag, but so what? Yeah, like he had his own his, taste. Yeah, it wasn't was, like it was his band. It was yeah. it was his deal. That was his band. You know, it was yeah. it, it was his band before Phil showed up. So, mm. you know, um, I can't think of any other options. Steely, uh, uh, not, um, Steve Miller. I don't know. I like Steve Miller. I love I love Steve Miller. Dude, he's got like you, know, you know who should stop? You know who should stop? Leonard get... Skinner should stop. Because their, their, their lyrics are just so fucking god awful right now. And, and just the new stuff. Yeah, I, yeah. If you're gonna go, just play the old stuff. Play the new stuff. It's just horrid, dude. That could be. I might, I might be able to get behind that, but I like them too. So. Yeah, I like them too. I can't. I, I'd go. I'd I, go see him. So yeah, I, I can't say. That, I, that that honestly, I, dude, I you, can't say I you support fucking that. stump me. Yeah. Mm. You stump me. Yeah. Now we look stupid. I know. Okay. Maybe this one will be a bit easier. <laughs> Thursday night was headlined over in the Sophie Tent by a band called Tragedy playing really, really bad versions of Bee Gees songs. Oh, I love the Bee Gees. They're my I love the Bee Gees band. too, and I love metal, but put the two together, and for some reason it. Huh, I bet really you we can pull work. it off good. Honor. Well, this is my question. What would Exodus's metal covers band be? We do fucking ABBA. Yeah, but probably uh, I mean, a popular or choice. Or a I mean, we we came we, we did the the Bards to Hell. We we came on stage in tuxedos to to Saturday Night Fever. Yeah, we would, and, we, and, we would cover and, that uh, album. We played in tuxedos because we played tuxedos because uh, we felt like it. Yeah, yeah. We wanted, you know, we had to do something. Wasn't something that a little special. bit hot? Well, we were out on out at sea. Out at sea. Oh, you were outside. Yeah, we were outside at sea. So it was on a cruise ship. So the wind was yeah. blowing. Yeah, blowing our hair. Like the late, we were the last band to play. Yeah, no one cool. saw it coming, man. We fucking showed up. All the other bands are fucking metal. So nobody could have. We came out to the afterwards. fucking. We came out great. to the Bee Gees and Tuxedos, dude. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. This sounds like a Guns N' Roses video from about 1992. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, whatever. Yeah, you know. We did it. It was fun. I remember yeah. right when we walked out. We all walked out in the suits, and some kid up on the thing was like, "I don't want to see you in suits." And I just looked at him and said. Fuck you, get out of here then. <laughs> <laughs> I think he stayed though. <laughs> Did you have back patches on the tuxedos? No, you? no, because they were rentals from the boat. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, we were down there drunk in the lobby going, We should wear tuxedos. We should get tuxedos. <laughs> <laughs> we went and got fitted and that's how it happened, man. It was all just a drunk conversation and stuff.